everybody, it's Victoria, the creative director of the Arizona Healing Haven Project. I just want to give you an update. I know that it's been a year for the Nazra Pollard's fundraiser, and I'm here to answer absolutely every question that all of you guys have. I know you guys have all been waiting so patiently to hear directly from Najwa. And so I'm still in that process of getting something for you guys uh, going forward. Um, one thing I wanna do is I definitely wanna thank everybody who has been following the fundraiser, who has donated financially to the fundraiser or monetarily to the fundraiser and people who've been sharing it and even just viewing it, sending in letters, everything, it's been, it's been a journey. And you know, what's so beautiful about this whole experience is that people from all around the world are coming together and helping somebody, one person that's in need. Um, and the fact that we all can come together and make something happen for somebody is, so beautiful and it's an absolute miracle and so i just want to thank everybody who has been supporting and who's been patiently just watching the fundraiser following the fundraiser liking it and sharing it i truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and i know that nothing's coming to me directly but just you guys have allowed this experience they're allowed me to have this experience it's been so beautiful and i'm definitely grateful um, for that. And uh, Naj was definitely grateful as well. Um, I have been, I know that a lot of people are wondering where Najwa is right now. Um, since the fundraiser started, Najwa has had access to the internet. She's had access to phones. She has an email, everything. So um, I have not specifically said where Najwa is as of right now because I've asked her and she does not want to release that type of information, which I can respect and I'm going to honor that. Um, but she is safe and she's living with family and um, a little bit of an update as well for her She was supposed to graduate on the 17th of May, but something kind of came up and delayed the graduation date so um, Which is I believe today's the 17th. So Yeah, so unfortunately that has caused a bit of a delay, but that's that's okay. Um, I have uh, also addressed um, her um, possibilities or wants of going into cosmetology and so she still wants to do that she's very excited about that and uh, we have I have personally called cosmetology schools that are near her and uh, uh, talked to them asking for how much it would be for application fees and um, everything full on tuition and also figuring out how to get her there to and from a uh, school every single day so um, we've we've been working behind the scenes a little bit too, so that you guys um, know that. Um, also, uh, some people ask who I am. I'm just like everybody else who's watched the Netflix series. Um, Najwa's story was something that I personally felt connected to, and I personally went through some very similar situations that Najwa has been through, and so that made me feel like I wanted to do something. I, I just wanted to start something. So my first step was really just looking on the internet to see if anybody started anything and no one did. So I thought, you know what, why not? <laughs> you know, why not just start something? You know, this is something I really believe in, someone I would like to be a part of helping um, if I can. And so that's how it all started and that's why I started it. Um, uh, now, also another question I wanted to address is how Najwa received the funds for the fundraiser. Um, no one's asked this question, but I think that it's very important for me to address that. Um, we are in Arizona, or I'm in Arizona right now. Najwa is all the way across the country. So um, this fundraiser is specifically for her education. So that means that everything that's going to be coming out of the account is gonna go directly to the school. Absolutely, pretty much absolutely everything. If she needs, if we have more than enough and she needs book supplies, things like that, um, in order for her to go to school and be able to be effective at school, I can, I can pay for those things and send them to her or I can give her like a small allowance or something like that for her to purchase those things. 
Now, once we meet our goal and school's been paid for and she's graduated, everything that's past that amount, so like let's say that we went over the goal amount, she will get everything. The Arizona Healing Haven Project, our organization, myself, is not taking a penny from this fundraiser. So this is specifically just for her. And um, yeah, so that's that. Um, also, I wanted to uh, let um, the people who have sent in letters to Najwa, Ari the ones I have right now are Arian, Jenna, Maddie, Miriam, Na Naima, sorry if I, if I said that incorrectly, Stephanie and Megan. She, I've scanned all of, she asked me to scan her letters in and send them to her so she can get them faster. Um, I scanned all the letters in and sent them to her and also put your guys' uh, addresses on there so that if she chooses to write back, she has the ability to do that as well. So um, I did that. Um, I do want to, uh, let me see how she received the mail. Okay, so she's received that. And then um, also, I know that a lot of you guys are asking, when can you hear from Najwa? And in all reality, I wish I could give you an exact date, but I can't. And um, I was expecting to get something in before I <laughs> end up making this video, just so that, you know, it kind of keeps you guys and, you know, you're like, oh, you know, she's getting involved. She knows what's going on. She can hear me. And I know that if it comes from me, it's not, it's totally different than coming from her mouth. And um, I was really adamant on trying to get that a lot sooner. So I'm gonna keep pushing to try to make that happen for you guys. Um, unfortunately, the situations kind of cause bits of delays. So um, other than that, uh, if you guys have any comments at all, any questions, uh, feel free to give uh, me, our organization, a call. My phone number, um, I believe we have it on the website. You can go to the Arizona Healing Haven Project.org or azhhp.org and send me an email and I can, um, I'll respond to absolutely every email or feel free to leave a comment on the fundraiser. And uh, other than that, uh, I just want to thank everybody. You guys have been an absolute blessing. And, you know, if you guys have any questions, again, just uh, send it and put it on the fundraiser or send me an email through the Arizona Healing Haven Project. Okay. You guys have a fun weekend. All righty.